Hey guys, good morning, it's Dr. Adele. I'm here with you today with my little dog, Pearl. She is a six pound miniature Mexican hairless. We got her about eight years ago from Mount Pleasant. She was a rescue from a puppy mill. Anyway, I'm here today because it is Vaccine uh, Awareness Month. I wanted to talk to you about vaccines, vaccine reactions, uh, especially vaccinating small dogs and how we keep um, your pets safe when we vaccinate them, especially focusing on small dogs, okay? First thing is I wanna go over vaccine reactions. So there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of talk out there vaccine about vaccine reactions. Number one, I wanna assure you that vaccine reactions, especially severe ones are not common at all, okay? So mild expected vaccine reactions the day after vaccines would be having your pet be a little bit tired, okay? They might uh, not wanna eat, they might be feeling a little warm. Some dogs will run a little bit of a fever the next day. Obviously we wanna keep your pet feeling as comfortable as they can, so please let us know if these happen. But this is all expected um, you know, uh, reactions after a vaccine. A little bit more severe, but still not life-threatening uh, vaccine reactions the, the day of or the day after uh, the vaccine would be vomiting and diarrhea. You definitely want to let us know if this happens, okay? Severe va vaccine reactions are akin to uh, a person that has a bee sting uh, allergy being stung by a bee, okay? This is very, very uncommon, but uh, it does happen in a, in a few cases, in a handful of cases over the years. It has happened where a dog receives a vaccination and has an anaphylactic reaction, okay? Um, what that would be is your dog might look, uh, look pale, uh, they might collapse, appear very weak. This is an absolute emergency and needs to be brought back to us immediately for treatment. Um, but again, just keep in mind that these are extraordinarily rare. If we see that your pets are having vaccine reactions to certain vaccines, we're gonna do a couple of things. Um, number one, we might split your vaccines um, so that we're only administering that vaccine with no other vaccines that day. The second thing we can do is we can pre-treat uh, your pet. So we can give them an antihistamine like Benadryl or an anti-inflammatory if they're sore uh, prior to their vaccination. That way it mitigates some of the side effects that they're having. If your dog has a uh, severe anaphylactic reaction, obviously, or the, the, uh, or the vaccine reaction seems uh, more severe than, than we wanna uh, test in the future, we will opt to discontinue that vaccination. But what I wanna talk to you about is how we keep your pets safe um, while we vaccinate them, okay? First thing is I mentioned before, uh, especially in the small breed dogs, we will split up vaccines. And I will do this for puppies that have had, that are having these vaccines for the first time. I'll do this for them as well as small breed uh, dogs, especially small breed dogs and puppies. We're not gonna administer three, four vaccines to your, uh, to your small breed dog on the same day. The more vaccines, the more chance of a vaccine reaction. Um, so we're gonna split up your vaccines, make sure they tolerate them. Um, and again, we might continue to split them up, even if you're, especially if your dog is a small breed dog, again, because we don't want to overload their system and cause an increased risk for vaccine reactions. The other thing we'll, we believe in is tailoring our vaccination program to your lifestyle. So we don't believe in vaccinating every single dog for every, with every single vaccine, okay? We're gonna have a discussion with you at your first visit as a puppy, and then yearly uh, to make sure nothing has changed, we're gonna talk about our, your lifestyle with your pet, where are you taking them, are they boarding, are they grooming, what other dogs are they interacting with, et cetera. And we're gonna come up with a vaccine program that doesn't administer vaccines that aren't necessary. If they don't, you know, have a risk of, of contracting that disease, then our protocol and our policy is that we don't believe in vaccinating them for that. So why would we administer something, a vaccine that could potentially have a vaccine reaction to a pet that doesn't have a legitimate risk of developing that, or, or I'm sorry, of contracting that, uh, that disease that we're trying to protect against. So that's the second thing, okay? One thing I do not do and we do not believe in is a lot of times when we get these small breed puppies in, 
from the breeder, it will say, you know, only administer a half dose of vaccine. Don't administer the Lyme or the Lepto vaccine to this puppy ever. Number one, that's a myth, okay? There is no such thing as a, a certain breed not being able to get a certain vaccine, okay? We would rather, I don't tailor my vaccine program based on the size of the dog. I tailor it based on the lifestyle of the dog. So there's no such thing as, as a certain dog because of its size not being able to get a certain vaccine. The other thing I don't believe in is, again, administering these half doses of vaccines. So I have a, a Pearl, who's a six pound dog. I also have Jelly Bean, who's a three pound dog. And these guys get full doses of vaccine. A lot of people ask, well, why does a five pound dog get the same dose as a 50 pound dog? And you know, the, the answer is that the vaccine companies have done a lot of research regarding how much vaccination, how much of the vaccination needs to be given to these guys in order for them to generate an appropriate immune response. And what they've determined is no matter what the size of the dog, they need the same volume of vaccine. So what you might be doing when you administer a half dose of vaccine is not uh, not protecting them w you know, with the vaccine that you think you're protecting them with. They might not develop an adequate immunity after being vaccinated with only a half dose of vaccine. So that's why we really strongly uh, believe in not administering half doses of vaccines, okay? So I hope that answers all your questions regarding vaccinations, vaccinating small dogs in particular, and vaccine reactions. If you have any other questions, make sure you reach out to your doctor uh, and let us know. Our phone number is 973-887-0522, and enjoy this beautiful weekend. Bye-bye, guys.